What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. It's finally that time. Demon Slayer episode 19. I've heard from everybody's mother, father, grandmothers, parents, sisters, brothers, cousins. This is the episode. What that means, I don't know. But I'm guessing this is probably going to be, I guess, the best episode of the of the entire season one. That's just what I've heard, what I've seen up and around town. Um, so I don't know if it's been overhyped or underhyped. I've enjoyed the anime a lot up until this point. So I'm not expecting a, a bad episode by any means. Um, will it end up being the best? We'll kind of see the last two or three episodes have been pretty damn good. So for it to top that, I don't know if it would need to be a, a little bit more story, um, some more fighting. We'll kind of see how it plays out. Before we get into that, I figure this will be a decently viewed video compared to some of the other ones. So I'll announce it here. Um, then I'll announce it kind of as we get closer. So podcast episode three is going to go up um, that first. What's the first weekend in May? Okay, so the podcast episode is going to go up not this upcoming weekend, but the next. So the weekend of the May 1st and 2nd. <clears throat> That's going to be podcast episode three. And I think for that, what I'm going to do <coughs> is a um, Ask Me Anything anime edition. So a little AMA. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what AMAs are. A lot of YouTubers and famous people, Twitch people, they do things like that where you can ask them anything you want relating to their, their lives or just literally anything. So we're gonna make we're gonna put a little flip on it a little bit. It'll be ask me anything anime edition. So any anime I've seen, you can ask whatever you want. Don't ask anything spoilerish. Like Attack on Titan isn't finished. Don't ask something about what I think of the ending or what I think of this character dying or this character doing this if it hasn't occurred in the anime. <clears throat> same thing with Demon Slayer. If I haven't gotten to episode twenty six, don't ask questions about that. Um, same thing with Full Metal. You guys, you guys get it. So. You can ask me anything related to anything Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, Z, Kai. Um, ask me anything Naruto related, anything Hunter Hunter related, anything Demon Slayer related, um, Full Metal related, Ko Geass related, uh, My Hero Academia. Anything we've seen, anything you see me upload on the channel, ask whatever you want. It could be about a certain character, a certain fight, what I thought about this storyline. Um, whatever you want it to be. So to do that, I don't want you guys to spam it in the video comments and me kind of lose track of it. <clears throat> I'm going to have a, like I always do, a YouTube community post. I've had some of you ask me, like, how do you get to that and see it? By the time this video will be up, there will be a post up. So you go to my channel, like it is here. You see it here. It says community right there at the very end. Just go over there, click it at the very end and then you'll see all the community things where I put up posts and you guys can vote on things and do all that kind of stuff and whatever. Um, so that's where it'll be and I'll leave it up for two weeks straight and then when I do the podcast episode I'll read from that list. I think it'll be better to do that instead of trying to do it live. It could just get all over the place. Um, so that's where you post your questions. You'll have two weeks and I'll remind you kind of every other video like hey guys I got the post up if you want to get a question in post it and we can answer it. So that'll be the topic for anime um, After Dark episode 3. So we'll go from there <clears throat> and then we'll just go ahead and um, jump into this. Some predictions. Um, I think we finally have identified which one of these is the actual 12 uh, Kizuki. <laughs> we got faked out by the mom. We got faked out by the father. I'm pretty sure it's this son son person um he has his eye covered the entire time so we haven't seen it um i'm pretty sure it's going to be him i'm trying to think about like what might make this episode being great would it be tanjiro and nezuko teaming up somehow and taking him out tanjiro not having his sword nezuko like becoming even stronger of a demon would that make it hype would it be seeing a hashira verse kizuki showdown like the two strongest from each side that we've heard up to this point would seeing them be it. Um, can a Hashira even take out a Kizuki one on one? Again, I don't know the power. If you guys did clarify that the um, even though our guys are special, um, Tanjiro, um, 
Inosuke and um, <clears throat> why can't I remember his name? Um, Zenitsu. Even though they're kind of like they're child prodigies, you know, they're amazing. To compare them to Hashiras is like basically disrespectful, is what you guys are telling me. So I I, I don't know what could what could is it going to be a collaborative effort? Is a Hashira not enough, and it's going to take both of them plus Nezuko plus Tanjiro plus Inosuke is going to have to crawl over there and help, and we're going to need his sister, the demon sister, to betray him. I don't know, but enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and find out again if you want your question to be brought up and answered. And I'll put people's names. I'll attach your names to the question, too. So YouTube name, one, two, three, asked. And then, you know, what kind of... I won't put it up on the screen because I ain't got all that editing in me. <laughs> um, but actually, I could. I could put it on the screen and scroll through it. That won't be hard to do. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Episode 19, Demon Slayer. There's 21 minutes and 40 seconds left in the episode titled... Uh, is there an I right there? Inokami. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure we'll find out. We are pressing play on the episode. I've been waiting for this episode since we started right now. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. Uh, I hope I don't have the, the Rona. I don't think I do. He cannot breathe in there. He's got to take that boar's head off. There's no way he can breathe with that much blood. <clears throat> and he's got the water breathing, so we'll see like the full potential of like what Tanjiro could be. I still, I did see the beginning, the 10 second. Tanjiro's sword did break, and he did kind of not get his head sliced in half, which I thought he would have. What does a what's a demon slayer without his uh, special sword? The disrespect. Or anything close to one. What's he doing with that rope? <gasps> Does he know Tanjiro's there? <clears throat> oh, that was quick. How did you not notice her herself getting tied up? <laughs> what? He's pretty beat the hell up. <clears throat> and then what's happening with Zenitsu? Oh, here we go. I guess we'll, they're going to clear up all this before we get to whatever's actually going on. Who's getting rid of that poison? Like, what's happening? Didn't his arm already start transforming into a spider? Like, does that go back? The girl was there. Is he still sitting there by m He's not alright. I would love to see the old, like, Demon Slayers get back together. <clears throat> and see the, the styles, like, at their full capacity. Okay, she's got something. She's a very soothing voice. She's like, since I've never met anybody strong enough to push me to the brink of death. Does that have to go in through his forehead? <clears throat> what? Oh, backup. Okay. Did he say it's alright, everyone's still alive? Meaning all those people we saw get their necks snapped? They're not alive. They're not okay. Tundra, what are you going to do with that 8-inch sword?
Uf. <clears throat> Can you get to him, though, with those tentacle powers? It's literally meant to keep you away. Uh, you, we could really use some help. Oh, you guys let me know. He's he's Miriam's voice actor, and now I, it's exactly like him. How do you dodge it? What do you do? Somebody took the hit. Somebody took it. Oh, shit. Okay, Nezuko to the rescue again. She should be okay. I mean, great timing. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She'll heal. What's he freaking out about? A demon and a human? Oh my god, her arm is base. Yeah, you gotta keep it together. She'll she'll be fine though. She'll heal. She's fine. You got bigger problems at the moment. He can't compute. He can't even fathom what's happening. Oh, God. She should be okay, though. I mean, dramatic, yes, but I think she should be okay, correct? The roles you were given. Oh, God. So did he become a Kizuki and then decide to, like, boss around everybody in his family? Was it already like that because of the power he had? Or did he turn... How did the whole family turn into, like... It's a very interesting dynamic we got going on here. Yeah, it would be. Turning him into a demon? Or he wants the girl, or what? Clearly he's not going to do that. Your little sister will be my little sister. That's not the bond that you're going to get, though. Yeah, that's not the same thing. Oh, God. But what can he do? What can he actually do? Lower five. So 
So what the the eye like it doesn't grant him anything, correct? It's just a mark, like a symbol that he is like what he is. He says he's one of the lower five, but there's twelve, so wouldn't he be lower six? Hmm. I wonder if Tanjiro actually attempts to talk him out of this. It won't be easy to slash him. You can't. You tried. Did he just snag her ass? Oh my god. Yanked her. I guess maybe he connected those strings to her when they contacted her the first time. Nezuko's healed up. Did she have the strength to... Br Did that gash on his face not even phase him? Ooh. Close the gap. You gotta close the gap. Where the hell did she go? She just took the hit again? Or... Jesus. And so he has her in that and he's controlling a whole new set of threads? I don't even see him detaching and attaching them, he's just like... And she'll die. I mean, there's... He doesn't have the speed at all to close the gap between him waving threads and him not waving threads. So what happens? Does our classic anime main character somehow overcome this? Or... Is somebody going to come do something? That's what he's trying to do. He thinks. We all think. Oh, God. Didn't even do a damn thing. So what would you do? Is it because Tanjiro doesn't have the the sword play slash strength slash practice to do it? Like, if, if it was reversed, if that was Gyu, Gyo in his place, then any thread I manipulate, would he have been the same result? Like, the blade wouldn't have gone through, or th their skill level would have been able to. She's actually struggling. This is the most that we've gotten out of her emotion wise in a while. He clearly. Damn, the episode's almost over. He's going to tighten him up. <laughs> Shit. Mm. But like there's There's nothing like that That Tanjiro's gonna like rage into He's not gonna turn into his inner beast Or summon a certain power What could he possibly do?
He took. The... <sighs> Woo! We're moving. Did he cut it, or did he just deflect it? I think he's just deflecting. I don't think he's actually slicing them. Okay, now we're slicing. As he said, it's the strongest form, did he not? Oh, shit. He isn't even sh Yo, the, the, the color combination right there looks amazing. He actually said, I'm going to die, I'm going to lose. He said it. Like his life is flashing before his eyes. So what do you do? Hello? He's having the same thing. Um, He's going through the same shit Zenitsu was, seeing like images and dreams, just like the girl said, when you think you're going to die. I was about to say, is that his dad or is that old man Tanjiro? And he's got the same scar. What is that? And become a Hinokami? What is a Hinokami? Did I miss something somewhere along the lines? Or is this the first time we're... Is this something like only Demon Slayers can ascend to be? Or... We offer this dance to Hinokami. Oh... Is Hinokami like their god, their Jesus or something? Look at little Tanjiro. Did their father die to a demon or die to sickness? No matter how much you move. He looks like a spitting image of Tanjiro. So, is this the... Is his father the one that... Muzan talks about with the earrings? Is that the one he fears? Oh my god. It's the fact that he's doing this with a sword the size of my finger. He has to get so close. The episode's gonna end, isn't it? Music's picking up. Don't you dare fade to black. He did it. I mean, he's closing the gap. Can he get all the way there is the question before it runs out. He got it. He gave up his whole body for that slice. She's going through the same thing. How does she get out of I mean, she could forcefully get out of the threads and like really slice herself up or Oh shit, we're seeing hers. We haven't... 
exploding blood. It burnt the threads. It kept him from being hit. Holy hell. That literally saved his life. Wow. The colors look amazing, by the way. The blue to red to pink to the red and pink combination looks amazing. And they end it like that? Wow. Alright. You got me. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. Um, so her blood demon art. And this is the thing, though. Like, if we want to dive deeper, like, dive past the hype for a second. The blood demon art, does it just come to to a demon at some point? Do they know what they want? Or it kind of just manifests itself in a way kind of like Nen, something you might be, like, affinitive to, or... Did a blood demon art maybe take on something specific that she needed right then? Was it something she's like, I need a blood demon art. I have to do something. What can I do? Like, what can I possibly do to help? Like, I can't get out of this. I can't get there in time. They're too far away. Uh, you know, my blood, blood, blood. Like, that's it. And then, like, it went from there. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Was, like, given a different circumstance, her not tied up and it not having to do with strings, would it have manifested into something else, or... I don't know. Or maybe that's something that is an affinity to her. Now, if you dive even deeper than that... She's a demon, but she seems to be a unique... Case that she's willing to protect humans. Specifically her brother. Their bond... Is that close. Their love for each other, their connection. And I mean, if you want to take that further, their connection is through blood. They're blood related. Like, that's them. That's her thing. Um, she doesn't have a drum that she grew up playing. She doesn't play with balls or strings. Maybe that's her. Like, her bond is her blood. Um, or her blood is her bond, whichever way you want to put it. And maybe that's... Eh, it's, it's not a bad explanation, but... So I wonder... How does she now take that and use it further than this? Granted, she's not going to be a 12 Kizuki, at least as far as I know from this point. She's not going to be somebody that's going out there hunting humans to eat or have to fight up other demons. When would, I guess, her blood be accessed to be used? It looks like maybe what it is, it's strong enough to destroy anything. Um, so would she kind of had to maybe slash herself get it on her fingertips and her fingertips could go through anything does it need to be splattered onto something i don't know i really thought it was going to be giyu that came to save them or save the day in the music exploding blood and she spoke hold on hold on now let's talk about that she spoke <laughs> holy shit i can't remember if she spoke in episode one when she was still you know human but she internally spoke at least the pink flame into the regular color flame i mean the whole thing is great i really really applaud animes in studios that um whew, that don't skimp on animation um granted it's a season one for them as they get more popular and have to spit out more episodes and i don't know season two maybe be 25 but that was that was pretty damn great i was wondering like what's gonna happen here because the episode was kind of like it didn't. When did that really pick up there? Not until about when he snagged Nezuko. So with about five minutes left, I was like, okay, what's gonna really happen here? Um, I mean, yeah, the color combination was just. And then so a, we we gathered a lot of things from this episode. So in the beginning, maybe we could just kind of scroll through here a little bit. Um, Inosuke messing around with Gyo. You know, he's infatuated by the strength. Um, I forget the girl's name, but she comes to save Zenitsu. 
And then our man over here is just infatuated by the bond that the two siblings have. He wants that. He literally, like, he couldn't believe what he saw. He reveals he's one of the, he is one of the 12. He says he's a lower five. So maybe it's broken down, because I was thinking lower five, but there's six. There's 12, so why wouldn't it be lower six? I guess maybe there's a lower five and an upper five, and then two directly above them that probably ain't. I mean, they all answer to him, but maybe two that are like his right and left hands. Like they are that good, that essential to him. They're part of the 12, but they're like the two above the rest. That's maybe the only distinction I can make from that. Um, and then he goes, he snags her, which I'm guessing maybe when he, I was trying to figure when did he connect them? Um, it's not like he, you know, tracked behind the tree while he was talking to Tondra. Maybe he did. Maybe we'll never find out. But I'm thinking he attached it to her when she blocked the shot. Um, and then, I don't know what's bigger. Um, Nezuko speaking and developing her own blood demon art. Um, Hinokami. Is that just maybe a god that they worship? You know, something like that? Is that another name for a demon slayer? Is that a higher rank up demon slayer? We know Hashiras are the highest, highest, correct? Um, again, the rankings were so long ago. And then we see him triple, and not triple, but double his threads. His threads were already OP enough, even to slice through the Nichirin swords. And then he thickens them, like, that wasn't even his, the threads weren't even his blood demon art. The blood demon art was him over there making them, like, I don't know how much stronger he made them, but, um, I want to talk about the father figure here. Not the father figure, his actual father. Is, um... Because in the flashback, which was what episode... When did we see him? Nine? Eight? Somewhere around there? Um, or was it like five or six? We saw Muzan have kind of like an internal flashback in his head of him kind of being on the ground looking up at a figure that had the same kind of cloak on that Tanjiro had, the same hair slash same hair color-ish, but what stood out was the earrings. And I thought back, I thought at that time, I was like, oh, is that a descendant of somebody? Or um, is Tanjiro related? Or, you know, maybe the earrings mean something else? Is it just specific to his family? Um, so now that we see him here, in the flashback, and the mother even stated, or Tanjiro stated, you know, how does he dance around when he's so fragile, he's so frail? So I don't know if the father died from, like, sickness or a cancer or something like that. Um, but did he used to be a demon slayer? Um, your father is doing the Kagura dance. Our family works with fire. So I wonder if now, is this something that he's going to always tap into? Well, he doesn't always need it. I mean, we've seen him accomplish a lot with his water breathing. But he's making it seem like his father was already maybe a Hashira or somebody that might have been a demon slayer that had his own technique um, that maybe deals with fire. I mean, she straight up says our family works with fire, so I don't know if that's something he's going to intertwine, the water breathing with, I guess you would call it fire breathing. We offer this dance to Hin Hinokami-sama, which to me sounds like a god, on New Year's Day. And he's just out there whipping it. And then he goes on to talk about how can he, how can father dance like that in the snow for so long? He's so frail. I want to see the conversation that he has with his father one more time. There's a breathing technique, a way to breathe so that you won't exhaust yourself no matter how much you move. Now, eventually that has to stop, correct? Like, you couldn't, inf like, I don't know where this story is going to go, Demon Slayer. But just for example, let's say there's a huge war at the end or somewhere around the story. Demon Slayers, humans versus demons. Like, not what they're doing now, you know, going around trying to, you know, keep the demons at bay, but like a straight up all out war where, like, we've got front lines of demons going to front lines of demon slayers. This breathing technique that, you know, will never exhaust you. 
it's got to wear off at some point, right? You couldn't take somebody like a Tanjiro, drop him in the middle of a war in between 50, 100, 200 demons, and he couldn't just bust out that breathing technique and just go and go and go, just wave after wave. Like, eventually that would have to wear off, right? That, I, But, hey, I, I don't know. If you can master the correct way to breathe, you'll be able to dance forever, too. See, the the thing that, like, snapped it in my head was like, oh, shit, is that the person Muzan was talking was this shot right here. You guys should be able to see it. I don't think I need to brighten it up. But this shot right here that looks exactly like the guy that Muzan was looking up at just in the silhouette. Maybe I'm tripping. I haven't seen it in a while, but... Make sure the Kagura and these earrings get passed down to you uninterrupted. That's what I promised. And then we might as well watch the whole sequence again. The song's a good touch. Let me pause this real quick. Because, you know, the opening, again, and Demon Slayer opening songs for the first season is one of the best opening songs I've ever heard. Um, something about, like, just straight-up rock songs um, are great. For some reason, like, Japanese rock songs sound great. I don't know. Like, I don't really listen to a lot of it in English. But, like, when they're put on, the, on an opening of an anime, they sound great. So, like, Tokyo Ghoul, the first one, is, like, one of my... I mean... I don't even know. That's not even up for debate. You can't tell me the, the original Tokyo Ghoul soundtrack. I don't even want to talk about it. But the opening for here is great. But the fact that they didn't go some, like, you know, crazy, upbeat, rock type of thing that, like, a lot of animes... Um, they went with, like, a very, like... And, like, I don't even know what the, what the ending soundtrack is for... Because um, I never watched the ending, because I don't know where it leads to as far as, like, a preview... Is this the actual ending song here? Um, because it bleeds into the ending of the episode, like the after credits, the song bleeds into it. I don't think this is the actual song though, but um, song, song choices can make or break scenes. And this was a great one. And the song's like getting louder. I mean, he's getting destroyed. I really thought it was going to come down to, like, he's going to really eat it. The repercussions from the... Can I get that again? Can I get that line again? If you stop now, it'll bring on the repercussions of forcibly switching from water breathing to... Okay. When that happens... Um, is there a drawback from switching between form and form? I mean, maybe there is, but I don't see, I don't know why there would be. Song getting louder and louder. Hmm, that's damn great. <laughs> I mean, hmm. It's better on second watch. I'm not going to lie to you there, Chief. Mm. And literally, I thought, like, Tanjiro is going to take lifelong injuries to make sure he secures this kill. Now that I think about it, it wouldn't have been lifelong injuries. That man would have been dead had there not been something to stop those. I was like, he's going to really give up all this for the chance at a swipe. And then what really took it over the edge, like, yes, him him transforming from the water to the fire breathing was, was cracked. You know, he's cracked. But this, the Nezuko shit, that took it. And then hearing her voice... Hmm... The color on top of color on top of color looks great. I didn't even catch that right there the first time watching. The sword didn't cut through initially. The sword didn't cut through. Her blood like helped propel it wow 
Wow, I didn't catch that on first watch. The blade did the same thing happened. Like when he when he gave him a free shot, the blade didn't go through. But Nezuko's exploding blood demon art like propelled it. That's crazy. Um, and like I was saying, like I applaud anime studios. I don't know the studio that does this. Um, that don't skimp on art and animation. It's really it's really easy. Like when you're a popular anime, you're three, four, five seasons in to just say fluff it for an episode or two or even half a season but like when that episode drops like you know episode 19 or when like a big episode drops like we're gonna put our best animation team on that but the whole rest of the before that and after that you know we'll put together what we can again i know they work on crunch time frames they're putting episodes out they're doing all this so you know I, i'm i hear all the time you know they work animators to like the bone um that's why I don't mind waiting over a year or two between seasons. If you can give me top, I was having this talk with Ramona the other day. Your favorite anime. Would you rather it come out every six months, like a new season or a year, just to get the content? Or would you rather wait two to three years and have the best animated quality you can get? Or get it in six months with just, they'll slap together, whatever. I'd personally rather wait. Now again, as Demon Slayer goes on, I don't know if there's a Demon Slayer movie. Maybe there already is, but I don't know if they're going to be like doing a movie and the anime at the same time, if they kind of fall behind, if they get too big and start slacking. But from what I've seen for these first 19 episodes, I have not seen one dip in the art and animation. So if uh, they can keep it going, that'll be great. Um, but yeah, great episode. We didn't get a lot there the first 15 minutes, but that last, um, that last five minutes there, as soon as the flashback started with the father and him going to the, like the best kind of form he had from there on out, really just, they took it over the top and it was great and I enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, wow, it was good. Some good stuff. I definitely, um, I'm going to, you know, simmer down here. It's easy to say things in the moment and say like, yep, that was the best episode, you know, um, or yep, it lived up to the hype. It was an amazing episode. Um, so like, I'll definitely go back and rewatch it. Uh, maybe it'll get better as I rewatch. Um, or maybe the hype will come down, but it was, it was pretty amazing. Like, I won't even like sit here in front of like, oh, the hype wasn't that great. It was pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so we have seven episodes left. I'll be done with Demon Slayer in the next three weeks. Um, I think what I'll do is attempt to get pretty deep with the Hunter x Hunter chapters before we bring on another anime, which I think will be Avatar, which is not an anime. Um, but we'll kind of keep up from there. And yeah, guys, go over to the community page. Ask me anything anime edition, anything to any show I've ever watched. Um, ask whatever you like. Um, we'll go from there. So great way to start a Monday. Y'all still stay, stay safe out there. Wash your hands, you know, all those type of things. Help me reach 6,000 subscribers. And we'll go from there. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...